Hello, everyone, and welcome to K-Wire Weekly. I'm Scott Schramm. And I'm Chris Dosky. On K-Wire Weekly, we have plenty to get to. We have a powwow coming up in winter soon. Blood Drive, a chance for you to donate some blood later this month at the Winter American Legion. Plenty to get to on sports, too. Club baseball we're talking about, track and field season winding down. And of course, Scott, the weather. The weather's always on our minds, Chris. And, of course, uh, we want more and more rain, as <laughs> much as we can get. We'll talk weather, too. It's all coming up on K-Wire Weekly next. Frontier Motors and Winter is your one-stop, full-service dealer. We carry new Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC vehicles, as well as Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge, and our $500 best price guarantee means we will save you money. With an amazing selection of over 500 new and quality pre-owned vehicles in stock, Frontier Motors is the place for your next vehicle purchase. Let us show you how hassle-free car buying works. Stop in or check us out online, Frontier Motors, West Highway 18 in Winter, or at FrontierMotors.com. Welcome back to KYR Weekly. I'm Scott Schramm. Here's a check of what's going on in the newsroom. An annual bake sale will be held at Winter Superfoods this Saturday. That bake sale will be put on by the Tripp County Historical Society this weekend. That bake sale will start at 9 o'clock a.m., so be sure you stop on by for some delicious baked goodies. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get some for Mom for Mother's Day this weekend. Well, a long, cold, and dry winter for the uh, most part. Uh, left a lot of winter kill all over central South Dakota and certainly on the greens at the Winter Country Club. This past Friday, they had uh, done some work uh, to improve the greens and, of course, some sanding and plugging. And hopefully our greens are on the mend and we'll see some improvement here in the next two to three weeks at the Winter Country Club. A Boy Scout Court of Honor and Eagle Ceremony will take place this Sunday at the Holiday Inn Express in Winter. Brandy Biggins has more on that event. Hey, I would like to invite everyone out this Sunday to the Holiday Inn, and we're going to have the Boy Scout Court of Honor and Eagle Ceremony for Sam Nas. It's Sunday, May 10th at 1.30 p.m. at the Holiday Inn meeting room, and um, all the Boy Scouts in our troop will be receiving awards at that time. And Sam Nas will be receiving the Eagle Rank, which is the highest award in Scouts. And um, in order to receive this rank, Sam completed his Eagle Project, which is the at the elementary school, he redid the front landscaping. He replanted the grass after it was all torn up for some remodeling or reconstruction or whatever. Um, and he re-landscaped around the sign and in order to receive this rank, he also had to be an active leader for at least 16 months, and he had to participate longer than that in Scouts, uh, put in some service hours, and earn merit badge rank, uh, merit badges such as cooking, emergency preparedness, first aid, community, uh, citizenship in the community, nation, world, and um, camping, and there's 22, 21 or 22 merit badges that you have to earn in order to get Eagle rank. Um, so please come out and um, support our boys, local boys in Boy Scouts. A blood drive is coming up at the Winter American Legion on May the 20th and the 21st. On the 20th, the blood drive will run from 12.30 to 6. Then on the 21st, you can donate anytime between 7 and 10.45 in the morning. The Winter FFA chapter held a pie auction event Tuesday at the Winter Livestock Auction. Here's Wyatt DeYoung talking more about Tuesday's event. Well, the Winter FFA chapter, we hosted our labor and pie auction on Tuesday night. We had a great turnout, a lot of community support. We were very fortunate to raise $6,100 between students that donated either up to 10 hours of labor or pies that they had baked. Now those proceeds will go to the Winter FFA chapter for programs that will be this summer. We have 10 students going out to the Washington Leadership Conference in Washington, D.C. where they'll look at how they can better impact their communities as well as programs here at the local and at the state level. Well, it wasn't too long ago where the Holiday House just started to do something new with serving breakfast seven days a week on the east edge of winter. And I had the chance to catch up with owner John Halverson talking about the success they've been seeing. Yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know in winter how our breakfasts that we've started out at the Holiday House are really going well. we are uh, been serving quite a few in the mornings, uh, have very good help, very happy with everything that's going on. And that continues on into our lunches. Well, our lunches are, are fantastic. I, I, I highly recommend if you haven't had lunch at the Holiday House, you try it. 
And we're open at six o'clock every morning, so people know that you know we're and we stay open through the day until two o'clock, and then we reopen again at five. And at five, we offer great steaks, great food, a sports bar in the back where you can bring your family and have a nice time. And, and we we really strive on our food out here, and I and I think that pays. We have a lot of repetitious business and. And I, I'm very proud of what's going on out here. So I just would like to invite everybody out. If you haven't tried our breakfast, come out. We have a great Sunday buffet. Uh, lots of people come out for our Sunday buffets. So if you haven't been out here, I'd, I'd encourage you to come out and give us a shot. We have a powwow coming up in winter on May the 16th. We had the chance to catch up with Alma Small talking more about that big powwow coming up. May 16th, we're going to have our first traditional powwow. And it's basically children from age 6 to 12 and 13 to 17. They'll be, be winning prizes money-wise. And we're serving a meal at 5, and we're having it at the, at the winter middle school. Grand entry at 1 and grand entry at 7. A mock drill was held at the Winter High School on Thursday. The demonstration showed the high school students just how serious drinking and driving could be. The mock drill was put on with help from Tripp County Ambulance, the Tripp County Cadets, Tripp County Sheriff's Office, and Tripp County Fire Department, and also the Winter Police Department. That is a check on this week's news. We'll be right back. Frontier Motors and Winter is your one-stop, full-service dealer. We carry new Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC vehicles, as well as Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge, and our $500 best price guarantee means we will save you money. With an amazing selection, over 500 new and quality pre-owned vehicles in stock, Frontier Motors is the place for your next vehicle purchase. Let us show you how hassle-free car buying works. Stop in or check us out online, Frontier Motors, West Highway 18 in Winter, or at FrontierMotors.com. Back on KYR Weekly here in downtown Winter. What a difference a week makes. If we think back to last weekend, you know, it was upper 80s on Saturday in Winter, certainly in Tripp County. Different story this weekend, but we welcome the, the wet weather. Uh, much cooler, of course, this weekend. Even uh, coming up on Sunday, Mother's Day, we might see highs just in the 40s in central South Dakota and in north central Nebraska uh, as well. So we look at the chances of rain all the way through the weekend. As we get into next week, uh, it's possible that we could see a couple days in the 60s once again, might see off and on sunshine uh, next week as well. So we look at that forecast, Saturday a pretty good chance of rain, and Saturday's high just in the mid-50s, Sunday's high in the upper 40s with that chance of precip as well. Uh, we get to Sunday night into Monday. Showers likely really on Sunday night into Monday as well. Monday night there is a, a chance of rain too and chilly. Chilly on Monday night. Right now the National Weather Service says a low of about 35 degrees on Monday night and then Tuesday might warm up. Could even see the sun on Tuesday. That'll be great if we get our rain over the weekend, a high of 62 on Tuesday, and then maybe mid-60s for you Wednesday in central South Dakota as well. So I hate to say it, maybe bundle up a little bit this weekend, but welcome the rainfall and even a little bit of snow if that's what's needed as well. For KYR Weekly, I'm Scott Tram. We'll have more right after this. Frontier Motors and Winter is your one-stop, full-service dealer. We carry new Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC vehicles, as well as Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge, and our $500 best price guarantee means we will save you money. With an amazing selection, over 500 new and quality pre-owned vehicles in stock, Frontier Motors is the place for your next vehicle purchase. Let us show you how hassle-free car buying works. Stop in or check us out online, Frontier Motors, West Highway 18 in Winter, or at FrontierMotors.com. And welcome back to KYR Weekly. I'm Chris Dosky, and here's a check on sports. Well, the Howard Wood Relays were held last weekend in Sioux Falls, and it was a gorgeous, gorgeous two days for the big track and field event. This year's relays marked the 90th running. The winter track and field team is one of the many area teams that were in action this past weekend at Howard Wood. Winter also ran on Tuesday at the South Central Relays. Larry Aker tells us how the guys and the girls performed on Tuesday in Bone Steel. We had a pretty good showing at the South Central Relays on Tuesday in Bone Steel. Our boys uh, came away with the team championship. Um, we also qualified our uh, mile relay team, uh, Sam Nas, Caleb Brozick, uh, Nathan Galbraith, and Colton Schuyler. So 
it was great to get those guys qualified for the state track meet in the mile relay. It was kind of a surprise. Um, they ran really well at Howard Wood uh, the weekend before, but um, we knew they could run it. It just kind of was a surprise on Tuesday. On the girls' side, um, we did uh, mostly relays, and uh, they did, did fairly well. We ended up winning the mile relay there, and the other relays placed. Uh, our throwers did really well. Dolores Herman got second in both the shot and the disc, and, and Casey Nord uh, PR'd in both uh, shot and disc. So that's good to see there. Um, you know, we just look forward. Uh, hopefully the weather holds out and uh, it's nicer than today. <laughs> Well, the Winter Cologne Club baseball team split two games over the weekend. They were in action out west on Sunday. A very good performance against Lee Deadwood for the Royals. They won that game over Lee Deadwood 12-5, fell to a very, very good St. Thomas Moore team 12-2. So Winter Cologne splits those two games from Sunday. They were scheduled to be in action on Thursday night at Mission, but due to those wet conditions we thought, saw on Thursday, that game was postponed to uh, Sunday, May the 17th in Mission. So keep that in mind. A very good game coming your way Monday night at Leahy Bowl. Platt Geddes, who beat Winter Cologne not too long ago, will take on the Royals at Leahy. Back on Tuesday night at the Winter Country Club, a Lady Spring potluck and a meeting took place at the clubhouse. Now, folks, remember, if you want to schedule a tea time at the Winter Country Club, call 605-842-0686, and Steph will take care of you. Trip County 4-H Shooting Sports wrapped up the end of their season Tuesday night. Everyone was invited to a potluck, where they handed out awards to the participants and also handed out what they had filled okay, out at the beginning right of the year for their goals. And that's a look at sports. We'll be back right after this. Frontier Motors and Winter is your one-stop, full-service dealer. We carry new Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC vehicles, as well as Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge, and our $500 best price guarantee means we will save you money. With an amazing selection, over 500 new and quality pre-owned vehicles in stock, Frontier Motors is the place for your next vehicle purchase. Let us show you how hassle-free car buying works. Stop in or check us out online. Frontier Motors, West Highway 18 in Winter or at FrontierMotors.com. And welcome on back to KYR Weekly. Scott, one more look at the weather if we could. All we can say is wet and chilly this weekend. Hopefully we get plenty of precipitation over the weekend. Bundle up just a bit as we head on into this cooler than normal weekend. <laughs> what a difference a week makes, that's for sure. Thanks for joining us on KYR Weekly. We'll talk to you again next week.